Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. How many of you guys like Game of Thrones? A lot of you thought so. I personally choose not to watch it because, you know, the whole purity thing. I gave up Eroge to avoid looking at that stuff. So kind of the same thing with Game of Thrones. I hear like after what, season three or after season four, things get cleaned up, something like that. Or maybe just the first two seasons are really lewd, lots of sexual stuff. Still, eh, I don't want to take the chance, so I'm going to have to pass on that and say no to that. I'll tell you what, though. You want a real-life Game of Thrones? You want some stuff that actually happened? Read the book of 1 Samuel. I'm not even joking. Like, if you... If you don't like much Bible stuff, but you like a good story, I'm, I'm not even lying. Check out the book of 1 Samuel and see some of the things that David did on his ascension to becoming the second king of Israel. It is amazing. I just read chapter 20, and just like Saul's trying to kill him, and Jonathan, Saul's son, loves David. He wants to protect him. David says, hey, your dad's trying to kill me. Jonathan's like, he would have told me if that was the case. My first thought is, he had already tried it a few times. I don't know where Jonathan was. But apparently, Jonathan maybe thought it was something in the past. Kind of like, well, he, you know, he's my dad, so I love him. He's been stupid, but he's over it, and he hadn't been. And David's like, no, your dad's trying to kill me. And Jonathan's like, well, I don't want to kill you. I want you to live. How can I help you out? And David's like, okay, there's a festival coming up. There's a feast. So you talk to your dad, and you find out, you know, just tell him, you know, hey, I'm in Bethlehem with my family, I couldn't come, and you gave me permission to be at this festival. And Jonathan's like, okay, I can do that. And then David's like, so how are, we gonna do, how are you going to let me know what your father says? And he says, I will, sh I will go out and I'll do some target practice with my bow and arrow. And the, du the little lad who, and actually uses the word lad in New King James, and the lad who fetches the arrows for me, if I shoot and it says... Like, it's beside you, or I guess it hasn't gone very far. Then you'll know my father has intentions to you for good. But if it goes beyond it, I'm like, hey, those arrows went really far. Then you'll know my father intends to do bad for you. And so they go to the feast. Saul completely sees through. He, like, completely sees through David's, like, trying to be away, trying to escape. Jonathan's love for David. Jonathan wanted to help David. Saul even went so far as to say in verse 30, just to, in verse 31 to read the, both verses, and Saul's anger was aroused against Jonathan, and he said to him, You son of a perverse, rebellious woman, do I not know that you have chosen the son of Jesse to your own shame and to the shame of your mother's nakedness? For as long as the son of Jesse lives on the earth, you shall not be established, nor your kingdom. Now, therefore, send and bring him to me, for he shall surely die. Saw so through the whole plot, and he's trying to look out for his and Jesse's future, despite the fact that God's like, no, you're not gonna, your kingdom will not be established. I'm going to hand it off to someone else. He said that through Samuel. And then Saul goes up and casts a spear at Jonathan to try to kill him. He's so incredibly enraged. Jonathan obviously lives through it. He doesn't eat for an entire day. He's so upset. He does the whole arrow thing. David comes out and meets him. They both cry on each other's shoulders. David flees. Some intense stuff, guys. Read the book of Samuel. It, you want the original Game of Thrones, complete with uh, romances and tragedies and, you know, well, a Game of Thrones? Just check it out. The Bible is the original book. It is the original source of inspiration for things good and unfortunately for things bad because the Bible doesn't just include God's way of life. It also includes examples of people who did not live the way they should have. So check it out. It's a good book. First Samuel in particular, I'm pushing just because, I don't know, I've read through the whole thing twice. And maybe it's just because, you know, I've become, it's been a while since I read it, so things have happened in real life, and, you know, I've grown as a person. And I'm going to see it in a different light than I did several years ago, but my gosh. Suspense, action, lies, intrigue, betrayal. Check it out. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.